say hello to gravity. Say hello to the earth. How often do you do this? Do you recognize that you're within? You are within the earth herself. The sky 20 miles up to the atmosphere and many, many, many more miles than that down. Breathe into gravity. You might think this is simple and yet the intense transformation that occurs when you recognize your relationship to gravity is beyond measure. Stop fighting. Oh yeah, you will find as you tune in more consciously to the pull of the earth that you are fighting the pull of the earth and that fight lives in your body. It exists as tension. Tension that pulls away, pulls in a way that resists the pressure that you most obviously cannot change. And yet, your dawning spirit somehow remembers being able to float and fly and change and shift to a vague, distant memory of your spiritual existence before incarnation. This is a trap. You're trapped here. And that trap is a suffocation, is a cage. Can you get in touch with the ways in which you are struggling against the forces of the earth? I invite you to breathe into this fight and let it go. Experience the tension itself melting down a gift that you give back to the earth. This is wasted energy, any struggle you have held that would wish that you are not subject to the pull of the earth. You have created this energy without knowing you were creating it. And as you give it back consciously, you experience liberation from a normal anxiety and you are invited to draw sustenance back up, a gift that the earth gives to you. As we accept this body more fully, we gain the opportunity to both release our energy down when we recognize that we are carrying forces that we do not need and to draw sustenance up through the roots that we learn to grow within ourselves. Feel these roots. Recognize something that is you extending beyond the confines of your body. Energetic links. Vibrational presence that is your own. And as you identify with a part of yourself that reaches beneath the surface of your feet into the soil and the rock, you gain a connection to the greater web of life that is tangible and present as a part of you. Your body is a part of this earth. And as you believe this in your mind, you feel this in your spirit and you draw sustenance that engages your physical form, you will become stronger simply by accepting the presence of your body as a part of this earth. You must embody the deepest strength that you have available to you as you awaken. Because as you awaken, you also awaken everything unpleasant that you have borne throughout this life. You bear the burden of all the confusions that you believe you have passed and yet you have not fully grieved. You bear the burden of traumas that you may have forgotten, including ones that extend beyond this lifetime. 
and you bear these burdens in the form of tension. And you bear this tension as a resistance within yourself. You are yourself resisting yourself. Spiritual awakening gets into these places. There is an intuitive, intrinsic awareness that this is where you lose your power and you need it back now. So the spirit flows into the tensions and asks them what they are. And it breaks the repression. It twists apart the ways in which you hold yourself down, releasing these energies to be felt once again. And it can be terrifying. In this terror, you confront feelings you wish were never here. You thought they were long gone, and it feels like you're falling backwards. This kind of fear can undermine hope. This kind of experience can give you reason to give up, to refuse to proceed, to concede to a sense that you are not capable of rising to these challenges. And yet you must you must become capable because it is exactly the level of intensity that you exist within. You exist within the level of intensity that is your unity. You are the unity of the repressed pain and the force within yourself that has held it down. When you repress pain, you negate aspects of yourself and do not realize that you are the full power of these unified strengths. You are the repression and the repressing force. And when you pit these forces against each other, you get no strength. When you untangle them and learn to heal the trauma, you become the unity of these forces. One minus one is zero, one plus one is two. You must rise to the new level of strength. And to do that, you must practice. Your practice is your home. Your practice is both the ability that you share to match the pain and the fear and the frustration and the wound. You match it with a new level of strength and you pray yourself into becoming the person that can handle being this much stronger.